Hello! Today what we're going to do is we're going to go over the next skill, which is graphing a line from an equation. So yesterday you practiced writing the equation from the graph. Now we're going to graph from the equation, which is, I think, a little bit easier. So same as yesterday, we're looking at y equals mx plus b. m is still our slope. So we're using rise over run and B is our y-intercept. When we're graphing a line from the equation, something helpful to remember is B is where we begin. So that is where you're going to start. So I wrote out some steps again for you. So step one, you look at your equation and you're going to determine what's your y-intercept. Your y-intercept is B. So whatever that number is in the equation, that's going to be where you begin. So from there, you're going to place your, a point on that number on the y-axis. So if your b is 2, you go to the y-axis and put a point at 2. The third step is to use your slope to plot more points from there. So you're just using rise over run like, like you've been doing. So if the slope is a whole number, to make it in the rise over run format, just put it over 1. So for example, if your slope is 2, you're going to just put it over 1, and that would be up to over 1. Finally, your last step is just to connect the points and add arrows on each end. So let's start with an example. For example 1, we're going to graph y equals 1 half x minus 1. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to determine your b. So your b is where we begin. Your b value is negative 1. So you're going to go right to your graph. On your y-axis, you're going to find negative 1 and plot a point right there. b is where we begin. Next, I'm going to look at my slope, which is next to the x. So that's 1 half. So remember, when we plot the slope, we're looking at it as rise over run. So this is positive, which means we're going up 1 over 2. So our third step was to use the slope to plot more points. So from my y-intercept, I'm going to use that up 1 over 2 and plot a new point. And then I keep going up 1 over 2. To have a line, we need at least three points, but you should keep going up 1 over 2. Okay, and then you can connect the points, extend the line a little bit, and add arrows on either side. And to complete your graph, we should really label the line with its name, which is y equals 1 half x minus 1 or plus negative 1. Okay, let's look at a second example here, which is a little bit different. In this case, first thing I do is find my y-intercept, which is the number after x. In this case, it's positive 5. So to begin, b is where we begin. I go to the y-axis and find that number, 5, and place a point right here. Next, I'm going to look at my slope. And I picked this one on purpose to try to help you out because sometimes you won't see a number in front of the x. Sometimes there'll be nothing and sometimes it will just be a negative sign. So if you recall from class, what we usually say is, who's so skinny you can't see it? One. So your slope here is like really negative one. So as I said in the steps here, if your slope is a whole number, you can put it over one so that you can decide how to use rise over run. So this would be like negative one over one. So that means we're going down one and over one. So from your y-intercept, you start applying your slope. Down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one. And you can keep going as far as you want, but this is enough. And then again, we connect our points, extend it past the points, and add arrows. And I'm going to label this as y equals negative x plus 5. And that's it. Just always remember that B is where we begin, and your slope, as long as you write it as rise over run, this will be nice and easy. Have fun!